So last night I actually took some time and finally worked on this. So as you can see there's only one little strip left which is a lot more manageable and I had left some goo on it so hopefully it'll come out a little bit easier today. Um, yeah, so the rest of that is gone, and then the 3.8 is gone as well, you can't really see that. So, it is looking very clean, just need to get that last little strip out. Um, yeah, the camera died apparently yesterday, because I had it on my head all day, and then when I went to go record, I pressed the button, and it didn't want to work. So, I had to strap it back into the pod and actually get some proper vlog footage instead of head cam footage. But we are going to go take one last look at the Genesis, the other parts car, before it goes. It'll hopefully be gone to pick and pull soon. I had to make a quick pit stop and hit the gym real quick because it's on the way over to John's house. Uh, apparently John's there, so we're going to go discuss some future plans and uh, see what's up with the gen. Stop playing music! Another day, another fill up. Check it out. Beep. Will you work? Yeah, it worked. Love that. Okay, premium unleaded is 454. That's not terrible. Cheers. I also don't like these nozzles that much. Oh, yep. It's gonna give me trouble not gonna let me fill my gas look at my really terrible attempt to package this up so we need to get some like garbage bags or something so that it like completely wraps it and doesn't show that it's you know clear and <laughs> stuffed full of plastic but uh yeah anyways we're headed to Edom Claw we're gonna go pick up some leather door cards from an Evo 9 and potentially some other parts from Ryan and also my injectors because I need my stock injectors back. I left them there last time thinking that we were going to take the car over there but um, turns out we don't need to do too much so we're just going to go ahead and grab them. Grab them back but I do have the new injectors on the way so we should be Gucci. We made it to Ryan's house. Look, Evo and the S14. That thing looks great. I did not close that door properly. Hmm. Evo, 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 Evo. We love it. We love it. Yo, look at that, man. It is beautiful out here, man. Crazy looking. That's a good sunset. And Evo. I'm worried it's gonna look really Wait, no. <laughs> Wait, no. Yeah, do it, do it, do it, do it. I wanna see if we can turn the flame to ice. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Babe, I'm literally. <laughs> Are you trying to? I don't want to be set on fucking fire. Oh, you didn't you didn't even light it. Oh! Keep getting closer and closer. Give me that. Give me that. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> There's a light on fire on the. I'm uploading a video right now. Zong got the cam on his head. Got a POV. You got the GoPro though. I think the Insta a little better because we got the hat clip and shit. Yeah, this shit mad annoying to put on my head. Yeah, he's got the whole freaking um like the head strap under the hat right now. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Is it over the hat? It's over the hat. I'm strapped up. It's over the hat. It's so right. um yeah, we're gonna. I I didn't record the rest of being at Ryan's house, but we are gonna go ahead and go downstairs and see if we can't get those door cards onto the Evo. Um. And then he's probably going to take the other door cards that we have and put them in another car, potentially um, the shell when he sells it. So, yep, let's go on down there. I've always wanted the, I mean, you've seen them in a couple of my other Evos. I always put in the leather door cards. So figured might as well just do it while we're here. And uh, he has a parts car. I was slacking, so I actually didn't join Zon outside this morning. Um, but I did just pick up the Evo. And I'm thinking, let's go ahead and go through it real quick because there's some trash and stuff in it. Let's get it all cleaned up and start kind of messing around with all the little things. But yeah, let me grab the hat clip from the gen. It's so bright out, I can't see shit, dude. And then get on the Evo. Oops. <laughs> Full tilt. There, get on the Evo. 
Mm-mm-mm. Alrighty, so first things first, go ahead and just get all the trash out of this thing. There's somebody interested in buying it, but the way it looks now does not fly with me. So we need to do a little interior detail, get out all the trash, get out all the coins, and move all the bolts and all that good stuff. So there are the door cards that I picked up. They're really nice, they're the leather ones. So that'll be good. I'm gonna toss this trash real quick and get back over there so that we can actually get this thing nice and tidied up. And hopefully get this thing sold soon. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can do. McDonald's, some kind of receipt. Another receipt of some sort. Glove? Ratchet? Nice, got a free ratchet. What else is in here? Long bolt, that's not bueno. Long bolt, I think those are for the intake, the throttle body. Pull some of this stuff out. Leaves and such. I don't have floor mats for this car, which is unfortunate. Go ahead and close this up. Also, I've had this since basically November of last year. This is from SEMA. Gum wrapper, gum wrapper, whatever the heck this is. Okay. Some oyster crackers. Those are good, actually. Kind of dig. Ooh, cigarette. <laughs> and then RGB lights. Cool. Well, that pretty much does it for the interior. Um, I guess there's no sunglass holder. I actually didn't realize that that didn't exist on this car. Or maybe it doesn't exist in any of them. Whatever the heck that is. Oh, shh. Nope. Never mind. <gasps> there it is. I've been looking for this for so long. This is my Insta360 freaking pole that I guess I thought I lost. But I guess it's been in this car the whole time. That's crazy. I haven't had this car here in quite a while, so it's just random stuff in here. What's this? Oh, app control. Actually, that should probably stay. And there's a lot of glitter in there, man. Look at that, a little thing of shears too. Cool, we got some, some fun stuff out of there. The entire intake fell off, so that's cool. Good thing I have extra parts. Say, for example, some new hose clamps. So hopefully this will be exactly what we need to get that thing tightened on properly. I have so much random junk. I'm trying to get rid of it all, it's kind of tough. I'm attempting to do an idle relearn on the Silver Evo right now and you have to wait 15 minutes and then put on all of the accessories and then wait another 15 minutes of idle. So it's idling now, it doesn't idle very well. Maybe I should have adjusted the bis screw first, but also didn't EGR delete and all this other stuff and then probably didn't get it tuned. So it might just be a tune issue. I'm hoping that it'll at least run and drive fine enough, I don't know, we'll see. Um, basically just gotta make little adjustments until it's exactly where we want it to be. But right now, I think I'm gonna start tackling the door cards on the gray Evo here. So as you guys can see, or maybe not, but this is felt, this is the not so desirable option, it seems like, at least for me, cause I prefer these really nice leather padding and you know just so it's not all over so um the cloth might deteriorate a little easier and faster so let's go ahead and pull these door cards off they are kind of interesting they've got these uh little screws hidden behind these really cool uh i guess oh you guys can't see that there it is little screws under here so we just gotta pop these tabs up but yeah um let me get started 
Yeah, cool. Hopefully I don't lose that. <laughs> Wait, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, what the heck is that? That's disgusting. What the? Found a nickel though. Add it to our little stash of change that we found the other day. Oh, that's, ugh, okay. I somehow managed to get this one out, it's sitting right there. Um, time to get this one. It looks like there's already a little hole where it was kind of pierced before, which is unfortunate. I found a smaller screwdriver to put in there. It was kind of a pain, but we got it out, so at least there's that. I'm gonna pull this off. Should be the last screw. And then we can get this pull out. Yeah, yeah. And then you get the other side out. Like that, and yeah, there we go. And then I think everything else is tabs, so. Boom. Oh yeah, there we go. Easy. Love that. Oh, there's another capped one that I did not see. That's a long one. Sheesh. Oh, it's still going. There you go. Okay, this should come out now. No problemo. Looks like I may be very correct here. Yay. Come on, one cable always comes down to the last freaking connector. There it is. So now you can see the difference. Yeah, right there. So you got the whole piece there. That's all up into the armrest area. It's all leather, so that's super nice. I have moved the uh, window up and down button over to here. I think it's the right orientation. Yeah, you should be able to use it now. I'm gonna plug this in and we'll get this thing back inside. Hopefully all the clips came out so I don't have to worry about doubling up on them. Should be all right. All snapped in. Oh, there it is. Too easy. Do this one real quick as well. Oh, a little dirty. Maybe we should clean it out real quick. There. I don't even know what that is. Disgusting. Okay. Now that's done. Put that in there. Yeah, this fed in there. Um, but um, but um. And number two, and that is the first door card on, and it looks pretty amazing in here. Heck yeah, dude. Nice. Time to check on this thing. I don't think it's liking life very well right now, but we'll take a look. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, let's see. It's been about 10-ish minutes. It did die halfway through at one point, but if I turn that off, my idle goes higher again though. And that's not what I wanted really, but take it for a spin, maybe? See what's up. Let's go right. Woo, some boost up in that bitch. Sheesh. Woo. Ah, oh, it sounds so good. <laughs> I miss having an Evo. 
That's driving. That's driving. This one's driving. <laughs> Let it sit for a second. Open the door. Look, they don't even have the little panels on. Hmm. On either of them, maybe the rears have been changed to door cards, freaking door cards. Yeah, it's sitting at a decent idle, I'd say. Guess it's onto the front. I forgot to <laughs> potentially. No, I don't need to take that off, right? Oh, wait. Just kidding. That's how easy it is, I guess. Boom. This one's a little easier to work on, I guess. Still need to grab the door lock. Okay, I got the front door card on. To put it back on, I actually just took the screw off of this piece because it's only one. And it's super easy to get, and then this clips back in. So that's what we're doing. Uh, hopefully this clips back in. Boom, there it is. And then same process as before. Same old, same old. Actually, we should probably unlock all the doors because I did lock myself out earlier and I only have the one key, pretty much. So hopefully that sits right there, like this one. Come on, you can do it. Get on there. There it is. Yeah, like that. So we can't get this dialed in. There we go. Whoa, damn, he pulling up with the freaking whip, dude. It's like a quick little break. No, I'm not slacking. I actually took the front lip over to UP, uh, UPS, no, FedEx and dropped it off, so we're good to go. Hopefully we'll get that refund for that because it just didn't work on the car and they said just heat it out and I was like, nah, there's no point. So, yep, we'll get that money back. I'm probably not gonna pull the trigger on another front lip yet and that's just because I found some stuff for the Evo that I have to get and one of them is the double pumper system that Ryan has for me. So I was thinking double pumper, um, I heard is a little better than just going for the Walbro 450 because you don't have to always run both pumps right so it's just when you're under load and boost that you'll have that secondary pump going and it comes it's the busher racing kit which is apparently super easy to install uh, Ryan said he'd help me out in doing that so we should be good after that for all of our fueling it comes with the radium um, fuel rail and a couple other things like all the lines so that's great. Now, we have this FP green turbo in the car, and for my power goals, I think it's actually better to go FP red or Arjunari. It turns out Ryan also has a FP red turbo and a, I think it's a map uh, MA Performance exhaust manifold. We'll see. I don't remember exactly what it is, but um, I'd like to throw that on the car as well before we even get it tuned, and um, yeah. I am gonna finish up throwing on the other two door cards. Um, I found a space for them right up there for the old ones and Ryan is gonna take them at some point. So we should be clear of that and then we'll have some extra space. That'll be great. And we'll have the door cards that we wanted on the car. So everything works out very nicely. And it's nice that it's only three or four screws on each one of them and it's all pop tabs. So everything comes out super easy and nice. And yeah, the front two are already done. So just doing that rear ones or the other side, the driver's side, because it's kind of a tight squeeze. I'll show you guys like right here. We've got the <laughs> uh, engine hoist in the way. We've got an exhaust in the way and another exhaust in the way. So I think I'm going to move this so we have a little bit of room to walk around in, but we should be able to get that done pretty easily. I have finished up the driver's side door cards. They look great. And here's the driver's side door, or the actual driver door. It's a little hard to see because it's a little dark in the garage and you probably won't be able to see me now, but gosh, it feels great to have these little things. You know, the door cards, little carbon bits everywhere. You cannot see any of that, actually. Oh, do my lights not turn on? This back one does. There you go. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe that's not wired in properly. Anyways, you can't really see anything, so I'm gonna get out of here. Hmm, very nice. Oh yeah, that is a sight to behold. 
Well, that'll pretty much do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, of course, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And hopefully, the next one will be us tuning the cars. That'd be kind of fire. I'm not going to lie. I cannot wait to drive that Evo in the garage behind us, man. I'm so excited.